previously on Lindbergh Logic. It was absolutely wild down here. Take a look at these guys. Are you guys black? Yes. Um, yes. Well, why are you guys out here? Because we should be allowed to vote. Why do you think you guys should be able to vote? The 13th and 14th Amendment. What does that say? It says that we are no longer slaves and are citizens of the United States of America. I got a question for you. Okay. What did your sign say? It says blacks don't know facts. Why is that? Because blacks are inconhuman people and aren't the whites. Do you think they should vote? No, they shouldn't vote. They shouldn't be allowed to vote. They should go back to how the things used to be. Be slaves. Welcome back to Lindbergh Logic. I'm Logan Lindbergh and our guest speaker here. Howdy, partner. My name is Johnny, Johnny Cricket. Cricket. We got a live audience here. We're about to have a serious debate on the... 15th Amendment and why it should not be passed. Woo! The 15th Amendment is on slavery and the voting rights for blacks in particular. The main thing that had the 15th Amendment passed with the 13th and 14th. Why do you think the blacks shouldn't vote? Because I think, I'm fine with all of them becoming citizens and stuff because that's all good with me and stuff, but I don't think they should have the right to vote. Because why? Because they're not American citizens. They came, they immigrated from America, Africa, where they all little, uh, um, um, whatever they're called, the cousins that down there. Like, man, they aren't liberalized citizens, man. That's, that's a very... Well, here, here's my point. Here's my point. So what I'm trying to say is, is that blacks should not have the rights because they're from slavery. We made them people. They're not always. They're never always been people. If we immediately made these people allowed to vote and stuff, what kind of corruptional, idealistic ideas they put on the world? Though? I'd like you to refrain from saying is slave or these slaves. I mean, they aren't even slaves. I mean, since January thirty first, eighteen sixty five, the Thirteenth Amendment was passed that abolished slavery. So these. Blacks are no longer slaves. But darn, darn, Dilly, how are you supposed to know where they came from, though? These slaves had no right. They were, okay, so they were slaves. They were born slaves. I mean, guess what they didn't have? They didn't have no birth certificate. Yes, yes, yes. But on the, on, in 1868, the 14th Amendment says clearly that Constitution ratified in 1868 granted citizenship to all persons born naturalized in the United States, including... But the how are we supposed slaves. to know if they were born in America if they had no birth certificate? Who knows if they haven't immigrated here from the good old South America or Africa? How are we supposed to know if they're even legalized citizens? We're gonna have a commercial break. <laughs> You know, um, your, quite, your point on how do we know that they are even a citizen? They could just be brought in out of nowhere. Is that what you said? Yes, that's right. I am correct. Well, you still have to have some process of proving that you are a citizen. I mean, you have to. I mean, whether it be bringing by mail or just even a family, or I mean, they will have. I mean, when you have to enlist to be a citizen to vote. And is that, that is what we're going for, is that we're wanting them to have the right to vote. Is that what we're arguing, right? That is barely darn good. Yeah, so when they have, if they want to vote, then they need to prove their citizenship, whether it be that, yes, they did bring their family over and then were enslaved and then now, or if they were born into America. So they, the point is, is that if they want to prove this, if they want to vote, they do have to prove their citizenship. Well, darn, darn, Gilly, most of them are not going to have citizenship because most of them, you want to know what happened? They've been captured by the Americans and sold into slavery out here. That's why most of them they can't even prove they have citizenship at all. It's because they've been captured from their other countries, from their homelands, and brought to America for slavery. And then they start repopulating the world into that. They start repopulating the slaves all into that stuff. So they can't prove they can't prove whether they're citizens or not. And slave and the slaves before that can't do that. The only people that can prove their citizenship or even their birth of rights are the freeborn black the black and women who have been in there. That's the only people that can vote for that. So the point that you're doing here is that you are nuancing the point that we don't know how to prove their citizens. But the point is that we have granted them citizenship to the, so to Nick pick on why they shouldn't get their like their citizenship right to vote. They okay they're We've granted their citizenship, so they should have the same rights and protection under the law as any white white citizen of the U.S. Is that correct? That's damn sure. Yeah, and so I mean to nuance that, how do we prove that they're a citizen? Okay, the executive branch oversees everyone that they give permission to be a citizen. So I mean they, I mean they are already investigating if they are or aren't truly once a slave or born in the U.S. I mean, so that part is already safe and secure from the executive branch. But the point is that 
if you were to nuance that just because we don't know if they were citizen here or not, then that's just a nuance point. <laughs> and so they should be granted the right to vote because if they have every other right as Americans has, I mean, they should be able to vote. And which is why the 14th Amendment, or the 15th Amendment is now passed. Okay. Oh, I darn daily don't have nothing to say about that. But um, as far as I can say that, I, I think your points are fair. Uh, I think a lot of your points are fair. But um, I mean, I mean, what? I mean, I don't know. Like, it's just I think it's unfair, and uh, it's unfair, and us Americans that we are letting people that we don't even know who backstory where they came from allowed to vote for our, the future of the country. You know, that's what. That's what I'm trying to say is I don't want to I don't want the the voting rights to get in the wrong hands here. That's all I'm saying. I understand. I understand. So a quick um, speed up or skip on in uh, February third, eighteen seventy, the Fifteenth Amendment was finally ratified. On um, this um, this condition was on the account of race, color, or previous condition of servitudes. The federal government and each state um, prohibited their denial or abrogation of the citizen right to vote. Uh, as the third and the last of the Recon Reconstruction Amendment. It's good to see you, sir. Good to see you, Hope sir. Hope to debate you again in the future. Hope to see you. Yep.